Good morning. Welcome. I'm Richard. Yes, that's Richard. Oh, hold your horses, love. Don't be so eager. Eager beaver. I'm Richard and this is Paul. And this show is called Sunday Chat. Oh, Sunday Chat, our favourite show of the week. Is that nice? Mm. What? Always worry there's something coming later, that's what. Well, something that I might request. Yes. Like a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> You're not going to do that because you I've got I've done one. it. Yes, yeah. I did it. But anyway, we'll talk about things like that a little later on in the show. So welcome. It's Sunday morning. It's dim, dark and... Dank. I was going to say dark and lovely. No, it, well, it's dank. Yeah. What is dank? Dank, dank is sort damp, of dampy... Cold, grey, dark, dark. Yeah. Dank. Yeah. It's quite a good word, that. Dank, rank. Yeah. So it is. It's winter. So we can't expect much more, can we, Paul? No. But we're cosy in our little house, on our sofa. Our magical sofa that travels through time and space to be with you. <laughs> I was wondering what... I thought that's a completely different sofa to I, the one I know, yeah. What one do you know, Paul? Well, I, I, this one doesn't travel through time and space, but I get what you mean now, yeah. Sort of through the camera. It might travel through time and space. And we're just not magical. aware of it. We are travelling, but we are. Whenever you think life is not moving forwards, always remember that you're on a huge rock hurtling through space at 16. speeds of 17,000 miles an hour. Yeah. That's what you've got to remember. You're always on the move. Mm. Things are always moving forwards. And if the Earth stopped, we'd all shoot off. Well, that's an interesting point, actually. Mm. If the Earth stopped rotating, I think... Oh, everything would be destroyed. Well, it would. I think the winds would suddenly be very, very fast, wouldn't mm. they? And, and it would basically raise everything to the ground. Yeah. What fun. What lovely uh, thoughts. Uh, yes. There we are. So, we've got a list. We've got a list. Haven't we? Happy New Year, Happy New You, Happy New Me, Happy New Us. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> That's better. Go, I thought you were a new you <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> Did you think oh, I cloned myself? Oh, yeah. Or... I, th I thought, yeah, I thought just a few days into the new year he might be actually turning over a new leaf, but no, it's the same old dank leaf. Yeah. I, with this dewy complexion, Paul, I don't think we could be described as dank. You noticed I used the royal we then. Yeah, I did notice. Yeah, I thought, right. is that including me? And then I realised it wasn't including me at all. No, I no. wouldn't describe no. you having a dewy no. complexion. It's sort no. of like a dry sandpaper. It's like my feet then. Yeah, not far from them. In fact, you could exfoliate people's faces with your feet. Ooh, that could be actually, a, new, yeah. a new service. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we could do that. Paul's yeah. foot exfoliation. If anyone wants that, facial then foot. let us know. £100 a time, maybe? Yeah, yeah. it's Something not cheap. Like yeah. Plus travel, yeah. yeah. No, but this thing about New Year, I well, think it's That's important. the moon, isn't it? That's the sun and the moon. We, the, yeah, the moon goes round the Earth in a month. Um, the new year is the whole circle of the sun by the earth. Yes, that Paul, is the. That's yeah. right. Have you just realised that? No, I haven't. But I'm just sort of, yeah. It is, and we're on a new cycle. We're on a new journey around the sun again, which is great. But we're in a different part of space as well. Yeah. Because the galaxy itself rotates and the universe and the universe in which the galaxy sits yes let's not get too deep it's sunday morning <laughs> so we never ever revisit the same no. spot no even if we revisit the same spot so if i go down to the allotment 
No. The, it's in a it's, different position to the one it was well, yesterday. Yes, yeah, sort of, but the, the space is still the same because it's contained within a bubble. It's contained it? within the bubble that yes. we create and we know. No, Paul. Physically, yes, it's the but same within bubble the universe, it's, it's tens of in a different place. Of miles oh, away. Shut up now. You're confusing me, Paul. I think that's fascinating. Far too deep. People will be switching off in drones. I think that's fascinating. But I think what's interesting is about the new year, new me thing. I think we need to change our expectations mm. about what the, the new year will bring. And, you know, it's like when people say, what are your hopes and dreams for 2020? Well, I don't have any hopes and dreams for 2020. I've got goals to achieve. That's the thing. You got, and this, you know, what really, really annoys me as well. This cosmic ordering thing. What? You know, well, like the Amazon. The secret. The what? secret. Oh, Paul, get up with the program. You've not heard of the secret cosmic ordering? No. I'm quite sure many of you have. Some of you may use it. I think it's a load of old bollocks. If we want something in life, you've got to work at it, you've got to work at it hard. Because well, what's the cosmic doodah? You just think of it and it comes. Oh no, no. Thinking of something creates a plan. Yes. You execute yeah. that plan to enable the project to happen. Yeah. So you've got to make things happen yourself mm. and not raise your expectations too high because Disappointment in this life is rife. Oh, that, that rhymed. Yeah, it wasn't very interesting, but it rhymed. But it's true, isn't it? Yeah, I, I all, get we what's that called, the cosmic... The secret, cosmic ordering. Cosmic ordering. Out of all right, crap. okay, so, I mean, yeah, I, I totally get that if you think of something, you are creating a mental pathway to be able to follow yeah, it there. But, it's... That, but I don't think it sort of blossoms out of the ether. No, it and I think because that, of your that's the mistake action. people make though. Yeah. There are hundreds of people cosmic ordering a new sofa. It's not going to happen. Huh? Well, I hope it is because then we'll be like lots of cardboard boxes down the road. Well, I've been cosmic ordering lots of things recently and none of them have come. <laughs> <laughs> really. I think it is intriguing that thought though because it is about creating that pathway. Of course pathway. it is, but you create it it's not something that just happens out of the air. No. It, it is created because you've set a goal and a pathway to that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Actually, it's interesting because I did think with social farms and gardens, before I knew that, I had obviously been doing things at the community gardens and I wanted to take another step. And I'd been thinking about that and it was because of something I said to someone that that pathway to social farms and gardens opened up. Lovely. That's great. Thank you for that, Paul. <laughs> so, let's get on with the show. First of all, oh. we do need to continue with this list, Paul, <laughs> before we get sidetracked and not too far into the show that people have switched off. Yeah, OK. We want to say a big bloody thank you Thank you, bloody thank you, to all our new subscribers yeah, who've do. recently joined. Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome here. Welcome to our world. Which sometimes seems a little strange. <laughs> I think it's often strange. But don't be put off. It's completely and utterly normal. This is normal for us. We live in a normal, boring old world, don't we, Paul? Yes, Richard. Hello, welcome, thank you for subscribing and continuing to stay with us and that goes out to all our old subscribers as well. All, all the, the subscribers. All the old wrinkly ones. <laughs> we love you very much and your wrinkles. We also wanted to say... <coughs> Had a slight frog in my throat. That's what there. we wanted to say. Slight frog. <laughs> no need to labour the point, Paul. Needs to flow, you know. Oh, I know all about flow, Paul. 
That's my speciality. Yeah, yeah. You're on find. one today. Yeah, yeah, I am on one. Yeah. <laughs> They're enjoying it. Look, look at their little faces lighting up. Look at that one at the back. Uh, I know. Hi there. That one doesn't look happy. All right, Auntie Barbara. Is that the thumbs down, do you think? That I don't know. There? Might be. Yeah. Auntie we Barbara's know, not thumbs down. We know who you are. Uh, oh, something about, oh no, but I'll leave yeah. that. You know. <laughs> Just leave it, full stop. No. No, shut up. We also wanted to say big, big bloody bloody thank you, bloody bugger thank you, to our I lovely, swear. I don't care anymore, I'm going to swear whenever no, I don't. want. No, don't. I won't do an F-bomb or a C-bomb. No. Not here, we leave that for the podcasts. <laughs> um, big, big bloody bugger thank you to our contributors. Yeah. Who have been extremely generous and... Um, we, we do have uh, a fund available to us now to purchase a new computer, which is very much needed because our old one is Windows 7. And as many of you know, Windows 7 is coming to its end of life. Well, it's not. It's coming well, to the end, end of life of support. Yes. Which means new programs that you're using, when they are updated, they won't, they won't run properly. There is a danger they won't run properly if you update mm. them. Mm. So it is time. I mean, it's eight years old, that computer, and it's cranky. Yeah. But yeah. it's been bloody good and can still be used for certain things. Yeah, you're going to use it for your music. I'm going to use it for, for my music because yeah. my music program will always run on it. So that's How really you know good that will always because run I've on been it? told. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So uh, is thank that a you. Cosmic telling. No, Paul. Oh, right. Simply through an inquiry by email to the company. Oh, fair <laughs> I thought you received it no. through the ether. No, yeah. no. So that's lovely. Thank you very much. And to all of you, all of your newbies, what are you doing? I'm not grabbing I'm just, you. I'm just moving a little. Don't move to out of shot. Right. Well, that doesn't matter if they just get that part. That's all right. It matters to uh, me. Being the editor of the program. Next. We also want to remind you that we're on all platforms. Face. Oh, did you hear my tummy? Yeah, then? I did. Oh, oh, oh. It's been doing that all morning. Oh. We have eaten. We've had Marmite on toast. In fact, there's a little bit of Marmite just there. Look. Can you see that? I have marmalade. It is Marmite, definitely. Mm, it's lovely. I saved it for later. Um, <laughs> What was I saying? No, you put me off. You were saying about something. We're on all platforms. Facebook, Planet Vegetarian, which is a Facebook group by Richard and Paul. That's Richard and Paul since 2017. That's contractual. Ah. Did you all say it with me? Yeah, good. Well I, done. I, I mouthed it. Um, and Twitter. Twitter and my blog. I'm getting to that. Don't rush me or else things will get left. You get left behind. Podcast on Signed Clyde. Mm. That's for the posh people. Paul's blog on Richard and Paul forward slash blog. Actually, it's Richard and Paul dot com, com forward slash blog. Uh, I'm not very good with those things, no, am I? No, you're not. So, all of those things, the lovely things, Instagram as well, oh, join yeah. us, You're join us, aren't you? yeah. follow us on all of the platforms. Now, let's get on with the show. Yeah. Joking aside... That was your tummy again. I know, but they won't hear it. Oh, right, okay. No. Joking aside, we do hope you did have a happy New Year celebration. If you were celebrating. If you were celebrating. We, we're very low-key. Mm. We don't do anything, really. We sit here and watch TV and go to bed early. We were in bed by half past ten. Yeah. Yeah. To go to sleep. Well, absolutely to go to sleep. Why else would we be going to bed, Paul? Exactly. Don't be exactly. so disgusting. So we were asleep, I think, by about quarter to eleven, something like that. And then the bombardment started. There had been fireworks throughout since about four in the afternoon yeah not a lot but at midnight the bombardment started but unusually this year um i woke up thought 
all those lots of fireworks and then went back to sleep. So I didn't, usually I'm awake for about an hour and a half because they go on for about an hour and a half, but now I went back to sleep. I, I don't, had a good night's sleep. I don't even remember the fireworks. You oh, say you I did, woke you up. You woke up, you woke up and we had a chat about fireworks. No, we and then didn't. We did. Oh, well, I don't and remember you, that. I must have been doing it in my sleep. Yeah, you, you went back to sleep straight away and I went back to sleep almost straight away. Good. But let's just continue for a moment with the firework debate. You've heard us talk about fireworks oh, yeah. before. In fact, I did an article on the blog last year, I think yeah, it was, yeah. or the year, be year before, 2018, about fireworks and how last century fireworks are. Did you see Shanghai? Yeah, that was fabulous. Shanghai. Fabulous. They did their display with a fleet of drones lit up. Um, oh, just mind-blowing, actually, what they can do. Now look, we've got lasers, we've got LED projections, we've got drones, we've got other types of lights that are available. <laughs> look, you've got water projection which Kew Gardens do. Yeah, they do a really good Christmas one at their lights, Christmas lights. Where they literally project onto jets of water. And Sprays. it creates this incredible 3D... Um, Vista. Film thing. Projection. I mean, you know, they can do all of this. There is absolutely no need to set light to hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of gunpowder, bangs and heavy metals and God knows what else goes into them. There's no, no need. If you're the kind of person that's still craving fireworks, I'm sorry if this offends you, but you need to grow up, you know? Because our desire as human beings to see sparkly lights in the sky can be easily satisfied with another method, which I think is cheaper, more environmentally friendly. I would have thought it's more environmentally friendly, whether it's, I would have thought it's cheaper in the long term, yeah. rather than the short term. Well, surely all the drones are rechargeable for a start. Yeah, exactly, so the long term, if you use them year after year, or for yeah. displays and different things, yeah. they'll be cheaper. Where a firework goes up and bang, and, and that's it. And lands all its shit over everybody else. Uh, you're going for it today, aren't well, you? Well, I'm sorry, shit, yeah. bloody and bugger. Not really too offensive, is it? Well, I'm, I'm... And I frankly don't care. Clearly. But that's our rant about fireworks. Well, I think that's your rant about fireworks. Let's switch to drones. Let's ditch the fireworks. I don't care whether there's a whole industry built around it. They'll just have to find new jobs in the drone industry. Ah! Uh, sorted. sorted. I think that's the issue because making fireworks is far more manual than making drones. Well, and that's that's you well, know that's a bad thing because obviously the, the lot of people who are making fireworks are breathing in those chemicals as they make well, the fireworks as well. Let's think about all the people who've lost their jobs because of online retail. Yeah, no, exactly. You I mean, know, it's, it's, sorry, the world, the world, the world is, changing. is changing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Now we wanted to talk about talking about the world changing, getting back to. Maybe some of the older things, the more traditional methods in life. I'm going to be patching up your genes. Oh, he, he is. Uh, they've gone around the arse area, the crotchal region. Crotchal region. <laughs> yeah, they split. And they're good genes. Aren't they're, they? they're quite good genes, yeah. They, they're gene, they split earlier last Jeez. year, 2019, about six months ago. And I keep on thinking they they need to be mended, but never got round to it. You put them on the bin. And I I thought actually you know what these might as well go to recycling. No. Because I do have various other genes, but then Richard said no. I think we should mend them. So you are mending them. I'm going to mend them. I'm going to patch up the crotch. Yeah. And I'm going to do a traditional method of sewing denim onto denim, rather than the new method of wonder web. Wonder webbing is good, especially for making curtains. I made a curtain once. Have a look. Here. 
But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. But what we were leading into, darling, right, was having a year of frugality. Oh yeah, or yeah. frugalness. What is it? Is it frugality or? Frugal? I think both of them are perfectly frugalness. acceptable. It's it's not that we are big consumers anyway, because we're not. No, well, no. Um, no, no, we're not. But I mean, we're we're more than some, and less than a lot of others. Yeah. Uh, but this year we've we've decided to step back, take another step back, if you like. Yeah. So I think I've said before that I'm not going to be buying books because very often if I see a book, I think oh, that you've said that all that before. Yeah. Go on. No, you go on. No, you don't reread the old books, Paul. Come on. Reread the old books. Yes. Don't reread the. I old like books. rereading old books every now and again. Don't go over the same old bloody story time and time again. Yes. Yeah, so it's we're being more frugal. We there are. we are. That's it. But End how of else thing. are we doing it? I don't Tom? know. We're Richard, growing you more tell food, us. aren't we? Yes. We're going to grow more potatoes. We are growing more potatoes. And the right kind this time. Well, we we we're never successful with potatoes, so we are going. Well, no, that's not true. No, that's not that's true. not true. We are not as successful as I would like to be, particularly with main crop potatoes. So we are going to be doing cara this oh, year. Oh, yum! And we're going to be growing them at our community garden space because we can put them in there and just leave, leave them. them and obviously bank them up as we go. So we're doing it the, the traditional me method, if you like, where over the last few years, we've done it the way that dad used to do it, where he dug a hole down and just put the seed down and covered it up, covered it up. Can't covered speak this morning. Oh no. So we're, so we're going to be doing that. And I'm also looking at our seeds and saying, are we going to eat that? Because yes. if we're not going to eat it, I'm not going to grow it this year. Simple as that. It's pointless, isn't it? If you grow something that you think, oh, I'll try that. If it's not something that is useful. Yeah. Because the thing is, what we're going to try and do is grow more food, aren't we, for yeah. ourselves. Yeah. But a little bit like Vivi does. And if you don't know Vivi's channel, go and see uh, Vivi's kitchen garden um, at What Vivi Did Next. Um, she grows virtually all her own food mm. and that's what we're going to try and aim for yeah or she grows it? the food that she can grow that she eats. in this country yeah and that she... eats it and i think that's the other important thing make sure you eat what you grow we did grow some kohlrabi this year which grew incredibly well though they're as bitter as anything i'm not quite sure why oh. well then um, don't grow them again so I don't think we're going to grow that. Well, in fact, we're not growing that variety again, but we are going to, to grow kohlrabi again, are we? but not that variety. But we never yeah. seem to eat it. Well, that's because this variety that we grew was bitter. I can go over that. But I don't remember like. eating it last year. Did we eat it last year? Uh, no, we didn't eat it last you year because we it. didn't grow it. Well, I don't think The we last should. time we grew it, we, we ate it and we had it grated in salads mainly. Oh, I do remember that. And, and I do remember sort of it. chopped matchsticks in salad. But I don't really remember it being particularly distinctive or, or tasty. Really, or else I would have remembered it, Paul. I don't think we should. They look like aliens. I do like it because they look like aliens as well. They're cute. Is there anything else nice you'd like to purple. say about that? Or... No, I think I think that's it. So we are, yeah, we're going to be trying to grow more than we grew last time, yeah. and make sure that what we do grow, we eat. And crochet. What at the allotment? No, I'm going to do crochet. Oh right. Kelly of Kelly's Kitchen Garden is sending me some crochet hooks. Oh, lovely. Yes, I got it lovely. right there. Crochet hooks. So I'm looking forward to that. And, um, yes, lovely. Do you need a book or something? Are you going I'm going to, to do it YouTube online. Videos and things? I'm right. going to do it online. Somebody sent me a link. I think Brian sent me a link right. to a video. So I'm going to watch that and crochet away uh, and make things. I'm not sure what. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Well, I've we'll bought see. some nice little blankets. What, for the worms? 
for the Cedrics what, and the So Cedric they can just cheetahs. bloody eat them? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they No, I'm thinking that. for nice blankets, do some kind of sort of modern design. I'm not sure I like those old crochet designs. You know, they look I'm a not bit, sure I want any more fabrics. They look a bit old ladyish. I'm going to try and come up with something modern. Do you remember that guy that we yes. saw doing the patchworking? Yes. But and quilting. Quilting. Oh. But his quilting was all done, it was like a big bed, wasn't it? It was all done on a computer. On a, yeah, and it, it was like a, yeah. He cut it and stitched oh. it. There was no craft in it as no, such, but, but there was his, a lot of design yes. in it. Yes. That was, yeah. He what was, was that on? I that don't was on know. that crafting. No, it was on the Channel 5 crafting programme. We watched the first episode and didn't watch any more. No, but it was good. Vivi would have liked that, I think. That I program. think a lot of people who do patchwork and sewing would have liked that. So I'm well, sure they did. Good. Carry on. Well, I was just going to try and link in before you just took over randomly with something else. <laughs> Talking about other channels, we wanted to let you know about a new channel that's just been started by one of our followers. A brand new channel, absolutely. Brand new channel where you're going to be able to watch this gentleman's progress whilst he works on his garden. And the channel is Gardening Links, and that's links as in Lincolnshire. Mm. And it's run by David, and we're going to put a link on here. Go over to the channel and subscribe, show him some support, mm. um, and uh, I'm sure he'd be very grateful and, and will say hi to you. Mm. So mm. that's David's channel, Gardening Links. Yeah. L-I-N-C-S. Gardening yes. L-I-N-C-S. Yes. Go and have a look. It'll be Not interesting now. to see how, how his garden does transform over the, the months. Yeah. It's nice to see a project starting from the very beginning, isn't yeah. it? So interesting. Yeah. And he's a super sweet person. So go over and have a look. Now, not now, not now. Later. Watch the Next. rest of this first. God. Next. Also, we wanted to mention Bill and Val. Yes. Who we have subscribed to for a while. For years. And they subscribe to ours. That's Bill and Val's Two Plots of Heaven. Um, I don't know whether you're still watching um, YouTube videos, Bill and Val, but if you are, hi there. Uh, but just to let you know that they've taken their channel down. Mm. Um, they're going through quite a lot at the moment. We were informed by Ronald, Ronald Shaw. Mm. Um... They've been going through quite a lot, but also one of the reasons why is that they got some very unkind comments. Yeah. Um, which I think really probably was the icing on the cake, so to speak. Yeah, and it's a, it's a shame because um, it was very it uh, homely and very informative. And also they did other things. They, they went to other people who did crafting with wood and that type of thing. Mm. And it was a, it was a, it was very much a gardening uh, and growing channel, but it had other crafts in it as well, which I thought was really great. Yeah. But unfortunately, with the comments that they've had, they've decided it's time to, to give it a rest, and have taken the channel down. Yeah. <clears throat> and that brings us on to the fact that so many people say that the YouTube growing and gardening community, and I'm sure other communities on YouTube are so supportive and encouraging and how it's so friendly. Not and to, always. To a large extent, that's true. But we have experienced quite a lot of comments, negative comments about the two of us and negative comments about what we do. And, of course, we always have our, our thumbs down. I think oh, quite a lot regular of large thumbs channels downer. do. But so we just had to have a pause there, sorry, because we had a technical issue. But to pick up on that point, thumbs down, yeah, we always get this regular yeah. thumbs down thing. We've kind of got used to it now. Um, but, you know, for some people it's an issue. And the thing is, with the comments, 
we deal with those things in yeah. different ways. We we do. We yeah. we deal them yeah, in very different ways in fact. Well I'm yeah. quite fiery. Mm. So it really annoys me and I and it's my Latin temperament, Paul. I can't help it. Oh, we need to get that photo out of when we first met. Which one? The one where you were looking sort of young and attractive. Let's get that one out. With your dark, curly hair on that veranda. I think you'll find I still look young and attractive, Paul. Anyway. Yeah. You How deal, we with, deal them, with things. You deal with them differently than I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I've dealt with so much challenge in my work life, mm. um, particularly since I, um, since I went independent, since I had my own business, if you like, and have had to work in teams where really I haven't particularly liked the person that we were working with or for. And um, I, I'm, it's... Comments that are hurtful for me are not necessarily, I don't necessarily treat them as water off a dog's back, but I sort of go, yeah, fine, you know, if that's what you think, but I live my life, I sleep at night, blah, blah, blah. And I, I tend to move on quite quickly. And I know for you it's a, it's a slightly different matter. Well, I think generally the community that we're kind of involved in is generally supportive. Yeah, um, it is. You know, and the majority of you guys are fantastic. But there are some people, really, that aren't who you think they are. Yeah, Believe I mean... Believe me, it, some it, people are not the nicey-nicey people that they seem to... Uh, paint a picture of, but are that's, they? But that's life, that's just, that's life. People are like that. They, you know, that's where we, we get that phrase two-faced from. Because some people are, you know, to your face and this, they're all sort of nicey-nicey and then as soon as you've gone behind your back, they're, they're, you know, completely different. I was going to say something else, but I didn't. And some people suck the life out of you as well. Oh, God. We've had people in our lives who literally have... I mean, we, we've had a number of friends who would... Well, I wouldn't I say a is, number of friends, we've maybe had a, two. We've had two or three friends over the years who have just been a drain on us. And actually, it's not that we've cut them out of our lives. Well, one of them it is. But we don't... We, we, we tend not to get involved with them anymore because what normally happens is they arrive, they tell us all of their crap and dump it on us and then leave. And we we haven't shared anything of what what our life is and what we have been doing. Friendships it's all about, are about sharing. Yeah, totally. You know, some people don't quite get that. And it's interesting that we got to Fact. this this stage of life. I know I'm segueing as I generally do, yeah. but we've got to this stage of life. I didn't think last year I met people that um, have become, or over the last year, eighteen months, I've met a couple of people who've become firm friends. And I didn't yeah, think at this age people. it would happen. And 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 people that I like spending time with, I I did not think that was going to happen at this stage of life. I'm, I'm not sure why. I mean, we're... Yeah, I know that we go on... Well, I go on about being a bit old and a bit decrepit, but, you know, we're still in our early... Well, Richard's still in his... I'm 39. Early. I'm 39. <laughs> Whilst I'm creeping up to 54. So, actually, I'm a bit of a cradle snatcher, aren't I? 39 I'm not going really on 39. 18. I'm joking. That's a patsyism. But anyway, let's move on now. Let's move on. But you were saying you're fiery, aren't you? And you, yeah, you know, it's negative. It's negative. Yeah. I get fiery about things. I shout and scream. I say all sorts of lovely words. Rich English language words. Yes, old, old English. Old English words. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then I move on. Yeah. It takes me a little longer. I say, do you want a coffee? And by the time the Ooh, coffee's coffee. drunk, it's, coffee. um, okay. yeah, he's got coffee. I've, Fresh I've coffee. Got, mm. I've got that, I've got that red thing that you don't like. Ugh. It smells like urine. Mmm, yummy. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> oh, vile. 
Well, it's very anyway, good for the plot. Let's move on. Television. We've watched a few seasonal goodies recently. And one that we're particularly fond of at the moment is the lovely vampire story of Dracula. Readapted. Mm. Lovely, lovely things. Um, <laughs> adapted by the BBC. And of course, our natural reaction was, oh my God. What have they done to Dracula? But actually, it's really, really good. It is. Really good, isn't I, it? I think, I think it's good. And we were talking about this earlier. But I think it's good because Dracula... I mean, this adaptation is obviously based on the book of Dracula. By but, Bram Stoker. By Bram Stoker. But that book is based on folklore and yeah. myths, myths and, legends. and legends. So actually... Oh. Unlike something like The War of the Worlds, which is a very concise and brilliant book, Dracula is a fabulous book and it has all this heritage and folklore at the back of it. So you can sort of intermingle. And it's one of those Gattis and thingies, those, those what were Mark they? Gattis. Thingy in the village and, no, not them, the other, the other ones. What? Do you remember that? What are you talking thing? about? Oh, I can't remember, but it, um, oh, the writer is is one of the writers is Mark Gattis. Yes, he's done lots of different. Yes, I can't. Stuff. I can't think of exactly what I'm thinking of. No, neither can I. Um, Confusing everybody but as yeah, usual. It's good. It's really good. It's good. We've only watched the first two episodes, so I think well, we've there's got only another, one more episode. Yeah, there's another episode to come. But at the end, I mean. It's, it's There's been laugh twist. out loud. There's hasn't twists it? and turns. It's fun and frolics and lots of gore. <laughs> lots of gore. Lots of, but but it's it's actually quite good gore. Yeah, there, there have been a few fun. moments where it's been. Oh. No, I've enjoyed all of them. <laughs> yeah. And I don't normally like gore. But um, the end of the second episode is sort of like. Uh, so, so. Where did that come from? Yes. All right. Wasn't it? Calm down. Oh, it's cal I'm looking forward to watching it this evening. I want to know what, what happens, absolutely. <laughs> but, a question for you. Mm. It's a little bit of Christmas fun, New Year fun. If you had to be a monster, a fantasy monster, would you be a Dracula? Would you be a Frankenstein? Would you be a werewolf or a zombie? What would you be? I would be Dracula. Because you get to live over eons. Yes. But the sort of other side of living over eons and experiencing life is a bit So you'd be a unsavory. vampire. You'd be a vampire. I'd be a vampire. Yes, I'd like to be a vampire too and drink your blood. That was Dracula impression. Look, I got a little cut there. <laughs> I could scratch it. <laughs> um, no, it's just fun. That no, does happen in... The me, reason I would like to be a vampire is, you know, the drinking of young men's nubile blood brings about youth. Just men? Well, maybe the odd woman, if well, there's nothing were, else they were, available. They were <laughs> drinking rat's blood as well. Oh, no, I wouldn't want a rat. You'd want, you'd want to be a hierarchical oh. vampire, like Count Dracula. Because every time you drink the blood, it gives you a facelift. There was that woman, wasn't there? Has Sharon Stone, not Sharon Stone, Sharon Osbourne done that? Do you think she's actually a vampire? She, she hasn't had the plastic she surgery. She might be. Anyway, um, so lovely, recommended BBC Dracula adaptation on the BBC, probably on iPlayer as well. Definitely on iPlayer, because anything on the BBC is on iPlayer. So watch it if, if you can, it's good fun. But you might not have it yet in... Oh! Ah, oh, mm. it's, ooh, I think uh, ooh, I think it's uh, on Netflix, so it may it? be. Yeah, yeah I think it's. Or oh, I saw it was going to be on Netflix. Possibly. Hmm. Anyway, what else have we watched? We've watched a couple of the old Miss Marples. Oh, we? Loved, <laughs> lovely, loved. Lovely. Yes, that Joan Hickson. Yes. As Miss Marple has to be for me the quintessential Miss Marple. She's very good. So, over the Christmas period, we've had a, a bit of Helen Hayes in A Caribbean Mystery. Which, frankly... And then we also had, um, the other day, Murder, She Said. Margaret Rutherford. Margaret Rutherford. Lovely. 
but not very true to the character of Miss Marple. No, no, not really. Very, yeah, very, yeah. Mm. It was sort of Hollywood. And the book was, Miss Marple, I mean, it, it you know, rips up the book and, mind you, changes so the things. story. And then we had a bit of, um, oh, I can't remember her name. Which one? She was in Map and Lucia, the old Map and Lucia. Um, oh, dear. Who? I can't remember. She was in, She was the first Marple, Miss Marple, when the ITV redid them as Geraldine Marple. McEwen. Geraldine McEwen. And then after Geraldine McEwen, who was that? It was what's her name? It was what's her name? You know that one. Fresh Fields. Fresh Fields. Yeah. Because um, of course she'd been in it before. She was in Sparkling Cyanide when they did the film Sparkling Cyanide. Oh God, what's her name? Well, she wasn't played Miss Marple though. With Duffy. What? The man you... from Atlantis. I don't know what you're talking about. The man from Atlantis. You're confusing things now, Paul. I am, but. We then watched Joan Hickson in A Caribbean Mystery, which was great. But it was interesting because in Murder, She Said, the kitchen, the cook, or the kitchen maid... Mrs Kidder, is it? Is... Joan Hickson. Joan Hickson. They're all so confused now, Paul, <laughs> they've got absolutely no idea what you're talking about. So in Murder, She Said, you have Margaret Rutherford playing Miss Marple, and you have Joan Hickson playing the kitchen yeah. cook or kitchen yeah, maid. That. And then decades later, Joan Hickson, for me, played the quintessential Miss Marple. So we've been watching murder mysteries and actually what we're thinking of doing is our own murder mystery. Yes. Video. Yes. At some point. Yes. Where several carrots are mercilessly murdered on the plot and we have to find out who did it. <laughs> <laughs> We or think it's might a good be idea. Kohlrabi. Yeah, we might do that. We might. I used to love writing things. We, when we were kids, we used to, when early teens, we used to write scripts and things and act them out. I was never good at acting. I am not a good actor. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a good actor. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite good in the, on the sort of production side of things, if you like, and have been involved in the production of a number of films over the years. Um, yeah, but I, I do like writing. We've got to write one first. Yeah. Then. I also, years ago, I started writing a, um, a murder mystery based around a, um, a, based around animals. And it was going to be called, the detective was going to be called Wellington Bubbles. And he was a mole detective. Oh, how lovely, Paul. Let's move on swiftly now, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> so the other thing you wanted to talk about was the Cheeky Prince. Oh, oh yes. Cheeky Prince Seeds. <laughs> so in 2018, um, we grew a pumpkin that had been crossed in that season uh, between a... Crown Prince and a Nuchiki Curry and the fruit that came from that seed was called a Cheeky Prince. We named it a Cheeky Prince. We saved seeds from that and they were sent out last year's growing season, the 2019 growing season, and people all around the, the world, virtually literally, um, I think it was about 85 people, were sent these seeds to grow and two people that we've seen so far have grown the best looking Cheeky Prince, if you like. And that was Chris um, ACS in the States and Kelly from Kelly's Kitchen Garden. Now Chris has sent us the seeds that she harvested from her pumpkin a few months ago. And Kelly also has her seeds. So I need to get in touch with Kelly mm. about how we're going to distribute those seeds so that people can have a second year at trying to grow the Cheeky Prince. And by doing this, we might actually end up with a hybridised pumpkin. Who knows? Lovely. I doubt it, but it's a bit of fun. But how... I, I'm always interested... And no, I'm being serious now, Paul. I'm always interested as to how companies do that. How the seed companies end up with the same fruit every year. 
Well, generally, generally, I mean, they they will have a grower who will grow only certain varieties but of seed. How do they stop cross pollination? Because happening? they will have a grower who, on their huge field, I understand that. will only grow a certain type of seed. So the bees, when they come over. Just stay on those plants? They stay on those plants. And hopefully you've got fields and other things where you're not growing anything that might cross with that seed. And of course the other way of doing it, and quite a lot of seed is done like this, is it's grown completely covered. Yes. And therefore, um, and some of that is actually um, not necessarily hand pollinated, by, but pollinated by airflow and by, by machines. So lovely, Paul. Thank you. But if you've got things like beans and and well legumes and kirkabits, but particularly like runner beans and other beans, are really easy to sort of cross pollinate with each other. That's why you might plant something like a scarlet emperor, which is bright scarlet, and then when you get seeds, they might be black or something because they cross pollinated. So there Lovely. we are. Well, that's so interesting. You also wanted to talk a little bit more about your recent videos yeah. on the place <laughs> where you grow the things. So there's been quite a bit of work. If you've seen the videos, you'll know, but there's been quite a bit of work on the new plot. I've been aligning the beds, the edge beds that we've moved up from the lower plot. So a lot of plastic and a lot of rubbish that has been wow. cleared. I went to the dump the other day and took all of that, so that wow. was great. And the next thing is going to be levelling those edge beds, because at... What was that? It was a bird or a child, I think. Um, at, the, at the moment, they're a bit wobbly on the ground, so obviously they need to be flat on the ground mm. so that we can put layers of cardboard underneath, and then it will just, um, yeah, be solid. We're not going to worry about the the height of each raised bed being level. I mean, they're all the same height because they're one decking board high. But if one edge bed is, you know, a centimetre lower than the next oh, one, I'm not going to worry about that. But that getting that line in was really important because it would have driven me mad if they were all wiggly oh, wiggly. Yes. So I've been doing that and also... Um, I put up what I'm sowing in January and that's going to be a new series of videos that on the first of the month each month I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be sowing that month. And you're actually going to do that this year? And I'm year. going to do it this year, yeah. I mean, you said crossed. last year... I said last year then mum had her operation mid-February yes. and things... I spent yes. two and a half weeks in Guernsey and things just never caught up from there. But, yes. Thank so you. what I'm going to do is I'm going to record them all. <laughs> Tomorrow, and you're going to help no, me. No, you're not. Oh, no, Don't no, I'm be not. ridiculous. It's Monday <laughs> tomorrow. We're both at work. Uh, <sighs> but I have got Bertie the seed box all sorted now as well, and you'll see that in the, the video. Oh, and I did you. notice um, Kelly, you're mentioning Kelly again, Kelly from Kelly's Kitchen Garden, she put up a video yesterday um, of how she's sorting her seeds this year. So um, she's going to be doing some more videos on that, so do make sure you're over there and looking at her video. Lovely. So we also wanted to mention um, the situation in Australia, which is very mm. worrying for a lot of people. And the reason we bring it up is um, a couple of people that follow us, um, especially on our Facebook group, Planet Vegetaria, mm. um, have talked about that. And, it, uh, you know, our hearts go out to anybody affected by the fires in Australia, it's absolutely horrendous. Well, and so, so is the fact that all of that nature as well. The nature, the, you know, it's just awful. Devastating. So we are thinking of you, um, and we just wanted to mention it because, you know, it, it's just a terrible situation. Mm. Um, it's been, it's come sort of quite close to home because members of Planet Vegetaria are very close to that fire line at the yeah. moment and are packing up their cars just in case they need to evacuate. evacuate. So that is, um, that's frightening and horrendous, absolutely. Fingers crossed, uh, and, and the other thing is, Carol Ann did say that they're actually not even halfway through, Australia's not halfway through, it's summer yet. And that is, that's a thought that really hit home to me when she 
she told us that on Planet Vegetaria. And so let's just hope that they can get some early rainfall. I know it's unlikely, but let's yeah. just hope they can. Yeah. Oh. What? <gasps> cat tree. Oh, there's a cat up there. Was that the noise we could hear? Yeah, I think so. Is it that fluffy... It's grey one. Like, sort of mountain cat type thing? <laughs> yes. It's, I think it's gone back down now, oh. but it was. It, we've got a palm tree out there, as, as you may know, and it was sort of halfway oh, up the lovely, palm tree. It's a lovely cat. It is. It tried to come in the other day, but it was lunchtime. It so tried I to come couldn't... in this morning. Oh, you should have let it in. I, I, I had to go and feed the neighbour's cat, oh, and um, should have came back, in. and I did the key in the door, and it sort of came up and... And I went, no, no, no. Why not? Mean, well, because we don't want cats in the house at the moment. Because Why not? it Because it will make us want to get more cats and we can't have that at no, the moment. I, I would love to have... You could have just adopted ...other it. little furry things around. But t life is not there at the moment for us to do that. We, we're not sure whether we're going to move. No. We're going and seeing mum on a regular basis yeah. and things like that. So, yeah, we... we We've set ourselves that we're not doing that. Yeah, but you can have a visitor. Oh, I know. Just well, a little I would visitor. want to cuddle it all the mm, time. Lovely. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, they are. They're just little, little bundles. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, anyway, finally, <sighs> our final word for the day is... Um... <laughs> no, it's not that word. No, not word for the day, final thought for the day. I was going to say a rude word then, but I thought, no, I won't say no, that No, don't one. say rude words. No, I said enough today. I'm quite puritanical. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh, it's flying pig. <laughs> um, uh... My final thought for the day is to echo the thoughts of the Archbishop, Justin... Hi, Justin, if you're watching. Well be. Then. Yes, I'm sure you're not. Um, what do you say? Reach out. Reach out. Not in an inappropriate way, of course. <laughs> but reach out to somebody that maybe you've not been in touch with for a while. Text them. Really? Yeah. Text them. Did he say that? Yeah. Text them. <sighs> So, text somebody today. Reach out. There are a few people in my life, if you're thinking of texting me, please don't. And there's a few people that if I was reaching out to, I'd be slapping them. Is there a slap emoji you could send? Maybe. That would be quite good. But no, seriously, if there is somebody that you want to be in touch with, but you just can't be bothered, send them a text. Thanks. I'm not sure about that. No, I'm I mean, not Vivi, either. It's Vivi weird, isn't it? had the thing about sending a, a little note and a card. Which is I, lovely. I think that's lovely because there's, there's a lot of thought in, that goes into that. You have to, you know, choose but, your card, Paul, write a note, post world. it. All. We yeah, live in a modern I know, world. I know, but, you know, texting someone... Text them. Mind you, I, I texted somebody, well, I emailed them actually. Um, Julia. I Did they email Julia. back? They emailed me Lovely. back and they so WhatsApp me. Out. So now we're connected on WhatsApp, which we weren't before. But only reach oh, out to them if and... you... Only reach out to them if you still like them. If you don't like them, don't bother. <laughs> Somebody did contact me... Did they? ...quite a while back, maybe a year or so now, and say that they... Would I like to, you know meet up for a coffee because we'd lost contact and blah blah blah. It's a work colleague. And you said no. And I, I said, uh, no, not particularly. I, Good. I don't really want to rekindle that business relationship because you're always a drain on me and wanting me to do all the work and you take all the money. So, no, I don't want to have coffee. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, <sighs> that's it for today's Sunday chat. Sunday chat! Ay, 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 that went right through me. Well, it's your fault, you said it. <laughs> and thank you, bloody thank you to everybody for watching and staying to the end. 
staying to the end. And what word do you put down the bottom if you stay to the end? You know which word it is. It begins with a B. And it's a fruit. Yes. So, there we are. What word is it? Yes. And for all those people who are new subscribers who might not know the word, have a guess. Yeah, just have a guess. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What's your Fenella Fielding bye? Bye. I love that Fenella It's actually not. It's more of a Celia Imri in Acorn Antiques bye. Is it? Go on. Yeah, okay. it's Miss Babs. Go bye. On. Do bye. do um do Fenella now. Well, no, she doesn't say no, bye. Do, do, well, do Fenella in the bye. Do bye in Fenella. Go on. No. I no. want to know the difference. You know, when people say, go on, do it, go on, do it. <laughs> well, don't do you it. You can't do it. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. I'm not doing it. Don't do it. Bye. Don't do it. <laughs> thank you. Bloody thank you. <laughs> Bye. Come again. See you next Sunday. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.